Hi everybody, it's Shannon. Um, I thought I would catch you up on what's been going on with me. So last week I had um, to have an MRI scan of my chest and my abdomen and my pelvis. Um, for my oncologist, and basically just because it was time. I think he does it every about three to four months. We get a new um, CT scan for that. Um, so I went and I did that, and I got the results back um, yesterday. And I wasn't able to get my chemo the last, last week because my platelets were too low, which seems to happen a lot. So this week, what he was able to determine from the CT scan was that my liver still looks beautiful. There's no like recurrence of cancer in that. Um, there's no tumors in my colon. Um, the nodules that are in my lungs were for the most part just stable. There were three of them and they've kind of stabilized. Um, maybe gotten a millimeter or so bigger, but for the most part, they're still very small. But what has um, been different is that my spleen has enlarged about 20 to 30%. And what the doctor explained to me that what that did was, you know, the spleen, you don't technically really have to have it, but it helps with your immune system. Um, but when it gets too big, something like the liver doesn't process the way it should as completely as it should. So some things get backed up into the spleen um, and that's why it gets bigger and it traps some of the platelets in there. And so that's where some of my platelets are, I guess. And then they just, I don't know, die or something while they're in there. Um, and he said, basically it's not unusual to see a spleen enlarge after having it's such a major resection of your liver, but the fact that I went straight back on chemo, you know, just a few weeks after it was over and have been, you know, having the whole full fox and Avastin regime the whole time, um, that's a pretty harsh um, chemotherapy regime, especially with the oxaliplatin, that's the really harsh drug that's in there. So he felt like, I didn't have enough time for my liver to kind of calm down and let everything heal inside of it, inside so that my spleen could, you know, go back to normal. So what he has decided to do, um, given that everything still looks good inside me, my um, CEA cancer marker was the lowest it's ever been at a 1.9. He was very surprised by that. I'm wondering if maybe it's from the radiation that they did to my arm that it probably killed off some, and so that's why that went down. Um, but so he decided to take me off the oxaliplatin, so I'm not on that drug anymore, which um, is kind of nice because that's the one that does neuropathy. It's the one that has a really horrible taste in your mouth, although 5-FU does too, so I can still taste it. Um, but it did have one kind of weird side effect, which was my own fault. So yesterday when I had my chemotherapy, um, minus the oxaliplatin, I came home like I normally do. I woke up this morning like I normally do, have coffee. Thank goodness I don't normally eat breakfast, which is why I always put Premier Protein in my coffee so that I have protein in the morning. Um, but normally... It has been that I have not had to take any anti-nausea medications at my house um, just because, I guess, you know, since they turned down everything to 80% and I was still receiving all of the anti-nausea medications, which are a lot when, as it turns out, when you're on oxaliplatin, it's a lot. Um, that I just never needed them. I might take like one Compazine and that would be it. And I didn't think anything about it. So this time when they took out the oxaliplatin altogether, it didn't dawn on me that they also wouldn't give me all of those anti-nausea medications that went along with that one drug. Um, instead, they had just given me one anti-nausea medication. 
um, to go along with the Lucavorin and the 5-FU and the Avastin, and I didn't think anything about that until this morning when all of a sudden, you know, I'm incredibly nauseous and puking my guts up because I didn't take my medicine. Ah, that was not very smart of me. So I finally got some medicine down me that would stay down, so that's where I am now. Um, so live and learn, and uh, I should have known better, but I didn't. So now I have a terrible headache, but at least I'm not nauseous right now. Um, but that's what's going on with me. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, he did say he was keeping, you know, if my spleen remains enlarged or gets any larger, that there are some procedures they can do. I think he said ablation procedures that they can do, but he said, you know, we're, that's far off if, if something should transpire, that that is something we could do to help it. I did tell him I did not want to do anything yet because I'm just still trying to get over this past arm surgery. The physical therapy went really well. I think that's helping a lot, actually. Um, just doing the home, you know, exercises that they gave me before I go back the next time. I really do think that that's stretching things out and helping quite a bit. Unfortunately, you know, it does hurt. I mean, that's just the fact of life, but I guess you just suck it up and deal with it because I would rather be able to get my hand over my head than, you know, deal with what I've got now. So, in a nutshell, that's me. Um, I was super excited about my cancer marker being a 1.9. Um, you know, an enlarged spleen doesn't sound good, but it doesn't sound too terrible. The fact that the cancer hasn't reoccurred in my liver still, I'm so thankful for that. Um, so we'll keep on going and I'll have more PT and I will definitely be taking my medications on time. So that's about it from here. Everybody stay strong, be positive, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.